Hi, I'm Justin and today I'm here to talk to you about the best types of footwear for your outdoor adventures so you can stay comfortable on the trail. The type of hiking boot you choose depends on how long you plan to hike for, how rugged or smooth the trail is and how much load you want to carry. Low cut hiking shoes are lightweight and basic in style. They allow you a greater range of ankle movement and have flexible midsoles. This makes them more comfortable on short hikes and well-maintained trails. However, they won't provide proper stability on longer journeys. Mid-cut boots are more suitable for trips that are a couple of days long. They're more durable than hiking shoes and you'll need to break them in before you leave so they're comfortable. You have the option of low-rise tops, which give you more agility, or mid-rise tops for stability. High-cut backpacking boots are the most stable and durable, great for a multi-day hike. They are cut high above the ankle, and the added support means that you can carry heavier loads without putting as much strain on your knees, ankles, and feet. There are a lot of features available on hiking boots. Here are some of the most important parts that will affect the quality of your hike, your stability, and how long you can hike for. Toe guards provide extra protection from rocks and boulders. Uppers and overlays are made from sturdy materials to protect the tops of your feet. Supportive uppers also stabilise you when you're switching direction or on an unstable surface. You can also find uppers that contain waterproof properties or insulation for warmth. Uppers and overlays come in a few different materials. Full grain leather is more durable for hiking in difficult conditions, whereas split grain is more breathable in hot weather. Nubuck leather has been buffed to resemble a soft suede and is durable for tough conditions and is water resistant. However, it takes a little bit of time to break it in. Synthetic uppers let you break in the shoe much faster, but they're also less durable so won't last as long. Mesh lets your feet breathe and it's good for keeping you cool in hot weather. It's not waterproof though, so don't wear it when it's wet or when you'll be hiking through streams or rivers. Rubber carbon outer soles are harder and last longer than rubber, but rubber has better grip. Now let's look at the other parts of the boot. Midsoles contain cushioning that absorbs the shock when you step or jump. Having shanks between the midsole and the outsole will help you carry heavier loads. If you have plates under the shanks, you'll protect the bottom of your feet from rocks. Boots with an insulated insole are warmer than those without as they trap heat. Breathable boots circulate air so foot moisture doesn't cause odours and bacteria. Outsoles are generally made from rubber. Some types are made with added carbon which makes the outsole stronger and more durable. The outsoles might have a heel break which is when you can see a clear difference between the ball of the foot and the arch. This means you'll have more stability when it's steep or muddy. Lugs are the bumps that you find on the bottom of the boot that give you traction on the trail. If the lugs are spaced far apart, you'll get more grip and they make it easier to clean out the mud. Thick and deep set lugs also give you more traction as they disperse water more efficiently. A stiff outer sole means you'll generally be more comfortable as your foot won't be overworked from having to wrap around branches and rocks. Your feet swell throughout the day, so when you're fitting for a new pair of boots, it's a good idea to go later in the day when your feet are at their largest. Always try them on with the type of socks you plan to wear, along with any orthotics, cushions, or ankle straps, as these will affect the size you need. When your foot is in the shoe, you should feel snug and supported, but if they're too tight, you'll feel spots of pressure or sharpness. You should be able to move your toes around, so make sure there's space at the top, which helps prevent bruised toenails. Well-fitted boots will let you slide one finger behind your heel. Test your boots on a decline to see if your toes jam up at the front when you walk down. If they do, try a different size. Once you find the right fit, make sure to break the boots in before you hit the trail. You can modify the fit slightly throughout the day by changing the way your boots are laced to reduce pressure on different parts of your foot. Keep your feet warm, dry and comfortable with socks that wick sweat away and have padding to prevent blisters. Compared to synthetic socks, merino wool socks are breathable and soft, warm and dry and antibacterial so they won't smell. Thin, smooth socks are actually better than thick socks, as thick socks cause feet to sweat and rub, causing blisters. Only clean, dry socks every day will wick sweat away. Sock liners provide a comfortable base to keep you dry, protecting you against friction, which causes blisters. These could be made from synthetic material, 
silk or merino wool. The type of boot you choose depends on how often you go out, how long you hike for, the conditions of the trail and how much load you carry. If you don't hit the trail often and only for short periods of time, you don't need to invest in more advanced features. If you hike regularly or want to try a multi-day hike, look for a boot that will provide you stability, comfort and durability. Visit us in store so we can help find the perfect boot for you or go to anacondastores.com to find out more. Happy walking.